Hey folks, John Wilkerson here from strugglingforpurpose.com and thewiredhomeschool.com. And I wanted to share with you an updated version of my how to download Periscope videos tutorial. Now before it was a really complicated process of getting the individual TS files and then merging them together. And there's a link to that here, info card, check that out. Um, but I have found a better way to do it with an extension, another extension for Chrome. And we're going to check that out right now. And let's see how that works for you and others. All right, so I'm in my browser here. And the first thing I'm going to need to do, this is Chrome browser, is download the scope down plugin. You can see I've got some other plugins in here. I'm not going to use any of those. So you're going to go to settings. Click on extensions, scroll all the way to the bottom, and click get more extensions. And then search for scope down. Click add to Chrome, add extension. All right, and then once that's done, you can go find your replay. I'm using Dave Shrine's here. I'm not using my own, I'm using Dave Shrine's replay here. Hit the play button just to get that thing started. Go over to the scope down button and hit it one more time. And then once you finish hitting it, as you can see here, it's gonna start downloading the file. All right, now that it's finished downloading, you can just switch on over. You can see here in the downloads, here's the file. I'll go ahead and start playing it. And I'll scrub through it so that you can see that this is in fact the full version of the file. So we're over 13 minutes right here. We'll switch back to the browser and you'll see here that it's 13 minutes and 18 seconds. And when this is done, we're going to get to 13 minutes and 18 seconds. Download it simply using this scope down plugin in the Chrome browser. Now I will say that this is not 100% reliable. Sometimes it won't download the file. Sometimes the website is down. I've run into a few problems with it, but overall, I think this is a better technique than what I was showing you in a previous video. And I think this will work a lot better for you because you get a single file and you don't have to merge the files together. You're not running some funky script and you're not having to pull something from some weird website or pay for something. I know that there's a service out there where you can pay for this. As long as you get to a location within 24 hours, get to that video within 24 hours, you can download it. There is my new method for downloading Periscope videos. Now keep in mind that Periscope only saves the replays for 24 hours. So you only have 24 hours to download that replay, but once it's downloaded, you can watch it at your leisure. And I also want to say that if you are downloading other people's Periscope videos, make sure you check with them before you repurpose them or reuse them. That's just the right thing to do. I don't really use this for any other reason than to save a session and then view it later if that person isn't using Catch or some other tool like that. That's it for today. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel where I'll be bringing you more Periscope tips in the days to come. Thanks. Bye.